Good morning. It's a freezing cold morning here in uh, Great Britain. December, it is early December. Now, Jehovah's Witnesses, you want to know about them? Well, ask a proper Jehovah's Witness, OK? I know there's lots, lots of people doing reports. So I have had connections with Jehovah's Witnesses. My grandmother was a witness in the late 20s. My father was a witness in the 50s, but he stopped. He stopped and I was born and I didn't even know properly about Jehovah's Witnesses till I was 17 years old. And then I went along and became a convert. I've also experienced being disfellowship. That means throwing out. I went through a divorce uh, for about 10 to 12 years. That was very hard. I've returned and, and been a witness now for more than 10 years, uh, practicing knocking on people's door. I was doing that this morning. People are more responsive now. I think what's happened is because of COVID, the lockdowns and the way the news is going and price is going up, people are listening more. So we're finding our Bible ministry going from house to house really good fun. Just to let you know that. because uh... Now our teachings in a nutshell. Jehovah's Witnesses began as a religion in America by a man called Taz Russell. Um, he became... A Bible student, which is what they were originally called international Bible students, because of the teaching of hell. His evangelical and Adventist religion taught in hell and he couldn't accept it. He was thinking of becoming an atheist. He was only in his early 20s, along with another number of students. So there's a number of students that started Jehovah's Witnesses. Because they established that hell didn't exist, they checked everything else and they found out that the God of the Jews, Jehovah or Yahweh, should be worshipped and not some mixed up trinity. So Jehovah's Witnesses believe that the Son of God is the Son of God. Also believe that he was going to return. He was going to return invisibly with his attention on the earth, preparing it for when he comes where every eye will see him. And of course that's what we're waiting for at the moment. A lot of other teachings is death. Jehovah's Witnesses believe that when you're dead, you're dead. You're not going off somewhere else. You see, in Israel, some three to four hundred years before Jesus was born, the Greeks took over Israel with Alexander the Great and they brought their religion with them, the Hellenistic religion, which taught there's an immortal soul. In other words, you don't die when you die. You go off somewhere else. So Jehovah's Witnesses take the view that the Jews had when Jesus was born and what Jesus taught. That when you, if you want to live again, you have to be raised from the dead, like he did with Lazarus. Another thing Jehovah's Witnesses don't believe in is uh, fighting for their countries because your Christians are fighting each other. You, you, how can you love your neighbour if you're doing that? And Jesus said, those who live by the sword will die by it. So when they get baptised, Jehovah's Witnesses are casting a spiritual vote for government by Christ. And that spiritual vote means that they can't vote in national governments and they can't fight for their country so they also believe that blood if jesus blood saves them when he gave his life so that's and it says in you know, acts abstain from blood there's there's videos on this on this channel so when jesus said thy kingdom come he was saying it's going to come on earth it's not coming in heaven and peace will not be established through the United Nations or any other human agency. In fact, human agency and governments are responsible for ruining the planet. And Jehovah's Witnesses believe that when Jesus returns, he's not going to kill everybody off. Um, he's coming to stop the human race killing its, each other off. He's going to stop the nuclear weapons. He's going to stop the environmental pollution and damage. But he can't let everybody inherit the earth because, look, it would return to how it is now. So there has to be people, government people, etc., who die. Yes, so there are going to be a lot of deaths. But Jehovah's Witnesses believe that Jesus is going to preserve the planet for who, those whom he calls the sheep. And they will get the chance to live in what Jehovah's Witnesses called a new world. And that's where Jesus said the meek would inherit the earth. So that's Jehovah's Witnesses' hope for the future. That's why they share it with their neighbours, because if you knew your neighbours, there was a storm coming and you didn't warn your neighbours, you wouldn't love them very much. And that's why Jehovah's Witnesses must tell their neighbours, 
as a demonstration that they love them and they're obeying Christ because Jesus said that the preaching must come to the end. Finally, of course, God's name. You see, Jesus said, pray to my father. And that's why Jehovah's Witnesses have taken on the name of God. You, they could call themselves Yahweh's Witnesses, but they've taken on the English version, Jehovah. Now, I don't know if anyone remembers, but someone wrote to me about um, and asked me about the Bi book of Bible stories. That is not the original. That is a 2015 edition. And we had this one in the 1971 for kids. Listen to the great teacher. Uh, I remember presenting this one in the Bible ministry in the 1980s. Happiness, how to find it. And finally, 2017, we had this book, Jesus, The Way, The Truth and The Life. This is like a Bible stories book for grown-ups, which is rather nice. And it proves really how much Jesus, Jesus, how important he is and how Jehovah's Witnesses feel about him. So there you are. That's Jehovah's Witnesses in a nutshell. If you've got questions, check their website or check uh, this little channel or ask them when you see them. And they're always standing around getting in the way with their carts, aren't they? So anyway, thank you once again. <laughs> I'm going to go in and get warm now because this is my man cave. Thank you. <laughs> oh.